Jesus said, all authority has been given to me. Mm, that's something. All somebody's left without authority. Wonder who that is. Somebody has been left without authority because again he said all authority has been given unto me and I give it to you if he told you to say it that means there's some power in it that means there's some authority in you saying it Oh. <laughs> that means if you say it, something is about to happen for you. You stand up from a weak place and say, I'm strong. There's some power once you say it. There's some authority. Once you notice, he didn't say, Let somebody say it to you, and you say it. He's telling you to say it because there's something coming with you saying. It. See, that's where the church, that churchy religious spirit, begins to take something from you. When, because when we just say stuff because it sounds religious and it's, you know, I'm going to say I'm sure. No, 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 no. He, he, we got to hear. There's authority in you saying it. If all authority has been given to Jesus and he gives it to you. If the enemy doesn't have any authority, he's looking for somebody that does. And so when thoughts are coming in your head, at your mind, that's why again the Bible says casting down every thought, every imagination that would do what? That would exalt itself against, I'm going to put it like this, against what God has told you. It's trying to exalt itself against what the Lord has spoken to you. So it's trying to graduate to a place that you get an agreement you empower the enemy how by saying what he said he has no power until you give it to him 